video is going to show you how to do short row uh, turns and this creates a shaping effect. So in our knit along block for the whirly square here, we start with a square and we build up on the square with um, knitting these triangles on each side edge of the square. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you how to do the short row technique. This is great for adding shaping into garments, socks, um, or just like our whirly square that I'm showing using as an example in this one to create shapes like triangles in your knitting. So to do this, your pattern will state the number of stitches that you're knitting to before doing a technique that we call wrap and turn. In my particular pattern I'm using, I knit two stitches. So I'm gonna knit two. And then our technique is called wrap and turn to create these short rows. So what we do is bring our working yarn to the front, then we slip the next stitch on our left hand needle as if we're going to purl it, like this. Then we bring our working yarn to the back again. So we're just wrapping that next stitch with the working yarn and then we slip the stitch back onto the left hand needle. So we don't actually knit it, we're just slipping it. Then we turn and we knit, we bring the working yarn to the back again so that we can knit the stitches we just worked to the end of the row. So each row that you work, you're just going to work one more stitch than you did in the previous row. So we knit two stitches last time. This time we're gonna knit one, two, three. Then we're gonna do our wrap and turn technique. So we bring the yarn to the front, slip the next stitch, yarn to the back. You can turn and then slip your stitch or slip it before you turn, no matter. Just as long as you slip that stitch, we're not knitting it, we're just wrapping and turn. And then knit back to the end of your row. Okay, I'll show it to you again. We knit one, two, three, four stitches this time. Wrap and turn the next stitch. Yarn to the back. and knit these stitches to the end of the row. If you are knitting and you can't remember how many stitches you knit the last time and you can't remember how many stitches you're supposed to knit uh, in your next row, you can just knit until you get to that wrapped stitch from your other row. That's usually where you turn. So we turned here so I'm going to knit this one and wrap and turn the next stitch on the left hand needle. Okay, so uh, I started out with 15 stitches. I'm on my last short turn row where I will knit 14 and then wrap and turn the last stitch. And look how cool that looks. Okay, so we're going to knit 14 when
12, 13, 14. I'm at my last stitch in the row. I'm gonna wrap and turn that one. Knit to the end of my row. And there are some pretty cool short turn rows that create really neat shaping within your knitted piece.